All right, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, the Golden Country. If you haven't been following along to this point, uh, last episode, we pretty much had a battle with Gort, the sleazy old man that tried to kill Laura when she was a kid. So, Just gonna randomly look the old man's still alive, even without arms. Now Jin has cut off his other one. Anyways, today's video we're heading over to the flagship to get started here. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, you enjoy it, find it useful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below as well to follow along these Torna videos that we're it. doing here. And to follow up with this, we're going to do the main game of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as soon as we finish up. Alright, let's continue making our way over there. Oop, we run into any baddies on the way. We're gonna fight this. On, everyone. No slacking. I won't enjoy this. I have a bad feeling it's gonna bring in aggro from other enemies nearby, but we're gonna find out in the hard way. I think we're doing okay. We'll see how this goes. Oop, got the topple, and let's launch this bad boy. Got him. Alright, let's keep on going. I think I've got the audio issue from last episode fixed. It, the hard part with this game is dialing in the audio because... God, this thing again. Oh, it's not this. But obviously, as you can tell right now, the combat audio is significantly or like louder. So hopefully, we fixed everything that we need. Nice. Did it. Oh. We're gonna fight a bunch of baddies on our way to the the flagship, I guess. Got the topple, let's launch him. Launch. Oh, too late. We still got it. Hopefully we can come up to a campfire at some point too. That'd be helpful. Randomly look I over think here. we might be able to level up at least just a little bit. Here we are. Welcome aboard, my honored guests. It's funny, I was expecting to be all glitz and glamour, halls of gold, diamond, chandeliers, and all of that. But there's nothing like that here. I like this much better. It all depends on the countries. Some of the nobility like to travel in style, and believe me, they don't go halfway. More ordained, on the other hand, is a military state. They take more pragmatic approach. Just as their emperor must be masterful driver, so must their diplomatic vessels be armed for war. That's the Ardanian way. So long as its mission is not a covert one, a covert one, Every flagship under our command must be a throne I may ascend. And if the leader is first to fall, what then? Jin! Why would you ask something like that? It's alright, Laura. He makes a valid point. It's precisely why Aegean and Brigid, the jewels of the Empire, have been bestowed upon me. Your Majesty. We will do everything in our power to protect you, Your Majesty, even at the cost of our lives. I'm blessed to have such loyal companions. 
It is also the job of the Special Inquisitor to pick up those core crystals when they're gone. His Majesty is currently entertaining the guests. I would entreat you not to incur on his displeasure. My humble apologies, Your Majesty. It's alright, I trust this is news of special importance. Please give us your tidings. Uh, of course. As you know, we applied stricter reg regulations to our scout patrols in light of the recent tragedy in Torgoth. Well, one of our patrols happened upon a young Gormont near the camp at Se Seagull Fell. Hopefully I said that right. But they lost track of him. So you think he might be a survivor? We believe so. We can send out further patrols immediately if it's matched the ascent. Yes, Her Majesty. And just walks away. Don't feel like reading anymore. I'll let you guys do that. <laughs> Where's the boy gone? I see there's work to do. Alright, we're looking for a kid, apparently. I don't know why I'm the one doing this. Head for the campsite at Siege Fell in Gormont and look for the boy. Where exactly is it? I don't I can't skip travel, but like ah, it's way over there. Okay. Yeah, it's like over in this direction. I'm gonna leave the map up like that until it comes into frame. Hopefully. Aha! Yes, we're right. We're on the right path. I'm all adventured out. Let me know if you want to rest. I'm all adventured out too, Laura. Trust me. Here we go. Here's the campsite at Siege Fell. Now, about that boy. Hey, isn't that him? How convenient. He's literally standing right there. We won't hurt you. That's what they all say. We mean you no harm. Please stay. You won't hurt me? That's my thought whenever somebody comes up to me. I'm like, is this dude gonna hurt me? We're affiliated with the Ardanian forces. We didn't come to bring you mischief. We know what happened to Torgoth, and we have been acting wholeheartedly to protect the refugees. You've escaped from Torgoth too, perhaps. That's right. Can you tell us your name? It's Kyle. Young Kyle did. <laughs> Do you know Lasham Cove? The boat of my countrymen is moored there. The boat's huge. Will you journey with us, young man? We can offer a hot meal. Yes, follow the strangers, kid. It's a great idea. I've lost Kelly. I mean, my sister. I have to find her. That's important stuff, kid. Why don't you tell us right away? Or why didn't you tell us right away? Tell you what, you run ahead to Lasham Cove and wait by the boat. We'll find your sister for you. Look at Mithra, being nice for once. How crazy. Yeah, dear, we might find the sister of yours. Actually, she likes watching the big boats in Lasham Cove. Maybe she's somewhere you can see them all coming and going. Perhaps we should begin at high up place that overlooks the cove. I'll wait by the harbor. Please find my sister. We'll do our best, kid. Aha, this will be a nice little side quest to do here, too. Let's just go ahead and open these green barrels while we're at it. Let's just open it. 
Let's just open it. Great idea, okay. Mithra. Okay, what you got? Lots of money. Aha, I see what I'm supposed to do now, okay. We need to go up on this. Cross this thing. Go through here. Ah, this is familiar now. I know where I'm going. I'm Maybe not, but like, I have an idea. Here we go. There's the kid. We have found your brother. Come with me. Who are you? Kelly. Yeah, that's me. How do you know? Oh, my brother. Can you take me to him, please? I think this is also one of the few where you get multiple um, community points. Because there's multiple people involved. So I think you're going to get two with this one because it's two different people. Also trying to do this one-handed as I switch out my headphones. There we go. Gucci. Here we go. Kelly, Kyle. Daw. <laughs> Can't thank you enough. Careful you don't lose her again, kid. You should be looking out for your little sis, you know? Yeesh. What's what's gotten into Mithra? She's being nice. <laughs> Even Adam. Mithra's actually being level-headed. Never thought I'd see the day. Mind if I take a look at that? Uh, no problem. Hmm. How did you come by this? Uh, Auntie Irena. My mother! Auntie Irena had another one, but Kyle always hankering after it. She said it was really precious to her, she couldn't let it go. So she made one that looked like it. She said she was sorry, couldn't make it any better. I don't care that so much. She made it for me. It's actually kind of sweet that the mother actually made that. It was like a, oh, okay. Cool little moment there. Sorry, I just like clicked through the text. This guy again. His Highness ears only. You may approach. Whisper, whisper. I see. Everyone may I ask you to reconvene in the boat's strategy room later. Something unforeseen it is. Is it? Same thing. I just received a craft crafting recipe for Laura. Check them out while camping. Where's the boy gone? Complete. You can rest easy now. Let's go see. I don't know why the soldier said this was for the emperor's ears only, and then all of a sudden he's like, oh yeah, come in, I'll tell you all about it. Makes so much sense. Thank you all for joining me here. I'm afraid. I have important news that I need to impart to Adam. Oh, yes? It's about the militia. The who now? 
I've been gathering an army in Uriah. People who've lost homes, families. People who'll make a stand against Malos. Well, according to intelligence we received, they have departed from Uriah now. What? Why? Malos's whereabouts are still unclear. It seems that Uriah has conscripted them all. It's now a special regiment of the Orion self-defense forces. I thought I'd sorted this all out with the Orion King. At His Majesty's behest, we have ascertained the position of the moving troops. They are heading to Torna as we speak. We have established communications, so you can send word at any time. <sighs> When they get to Torna, tell them to go to a letter. Ugh. As you say. Laura. Hmm. Never seen Adam like that before. He's gone off somewhere. Is it best to leave him alone, do you think? That's for you to decide. I'll go anywhere you go. Right. No, he might need someone at the time like this. We have to go after him. Alright, time to find Adam. Somewhere on this ship. Right out here. That wasn't like you. Huh. You think so? Yes. I thought... You always know what to do. You're never lost. I wish that really were the case. To tell the truth, I'm always worrying. Ever since I became Mithra's driver, anyway. It didn't seem that way at all. Power lends one an air of capability. Even more so when it comes to the Aegis. When we first met, we could have burnt you to pieces. Though fortunately, we avoided that thanks to Jin. Is that why you were away from the militia? As I am, I am not in full control of Mithra's power. Scores of soldiers could die by my hand. I was frightened. This cataclysm Malos caused, it's likely all because Questa Amalthus was unable to control him. And if that's true, then perhaps I too. I think she's well aware. Just not so comfortable saying it. That's your analysis. Well? I have been with Jin, the Paragon of Torna, for 17 years. I can roughly tell how much of their strength the Blade is using just by watching them. She's making sure you... No, she's holding herself back to make sure she doesn't go that way. Deep down, she's very kind. You think... That still means I'm just not man enough. Don't think that way. You'll get used to it, little by little. I was the same. If only time would slow down and afford me the chance. Yeah. We should be able to take a ship, head straight to a letter from here. That's great, but why has it got to be a passenger ship? Can't we travel with the Emperor? What's wrong with making a grand entrance? I like Mithra's thinking here. 
Though I may be traveling with Lord Adam, I'm afraid my actions aren't officially sanctioned. His Majesty's ship is a war vessel. It would take considerable negotiation before Torna granted us docking privileges. Makes sense. Figures. That attitude of yours is what gives us so much trouble you don't stop to think about the consequences, do you? Honestly, I give up. Bridget, you just need to take a chill pill. Hey, would you get off my case? It didn't even say anything. Knock it off, you two. At the very least, we've got a nice leisurely cruise ahead of us. And that's something. See, at least Laura knows what's up. Alright, we'll switch back to Adam and Mithra. And I think we... Where do we go from here? Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, that, that ship. That's right. I was trying to get into the little... Little warship here. Let's see. Weapon vendor. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a wing chip. Okay. Like that. Let's go ahead and buy. How much do I have? Let's buy three. Let's apply that to Mithra. Give Jin one. Whoops, I think I need to. Uh, we will upgrade that in a little bit. I'll do that off stream or off video here. Let's see, let's upgrade. Yep, we're good there. And we'll do Bridget to actually no, because that would do less for her. So maybe we'll do Haze. Yeah, we'll do Haze. Okay. Okay, let's hop on the boat. should help a little bit with our attacks and things like that too. Give us a little bit more damage. Going to the letter region at this time. You've paid enough before, so the trip's on me. Ready to go? Thank you, sir. Here we are, the Kingdom of Torna. Ahoy! Miss me! Lord Adam, 
Lord Adam's finally come back. Welcome back, Lord Adam. Wow. Someone's got himself a bit of a fan club. Maybe that's why he decided to take action. To wield that love for good. By the way, Adam gave the order to meet in this place specifically, right? What's so special about it? This land is Adam's domain. Look, that over there is his manor. Ah, oh, certainly fit for a prince. Eh, it could stand to be bigger. And, you know, not in the middle of nowhere. Are you completely incapable of saying something without sarcasm? Sorry, it's just how I am. I don't really think I can help it. She's right, though. It is quite away from the capital. He is far too esteemed for his own good. Fourth in line to the throne, but loved by soldiers and citizens. His relations with High Prince Zedar are quite strained as a result, I hear. Really? I suppose even princes have problems. For a place out in the back of beyond, it doesn't seem all that bad. Look at all this lush scenery. I think I could live here quite comfortably. Warms my heart to hear you say so. I like it here too. I've been thinking of dabbing in a bit of architecture here someday. We'd better finish a mal off quickly then so you can run off and live life as a hermit. That's the plan. Honestly, same, Adam. I feel that. Where are you off to, Hugo? A uh, regiment of ours has been tasked with disarming regiment of Goyan troops at a nearby archipelago. Ooh, is it the Lefthurian archipelago from the main game? Who knows? Right then, let's see if we can't iron out a few of these problems and uh, resistance has been having. Is that something we can help with? Jin and I would be more than happy to help, right Jin? Of course, if that's what you want. Thanks both of you, it will be a big help. Because problem we've got right now is lack of provisions. Food provisions? I'm afraid so. Like you said, this place is cut off from the rest of the world, so no wonder they're so hard up. I think making sure our army doesn't die of starvation is more important than filing Malos right now. Very wise. All right. Let's feed the army. Ugh, we're such saps. A lot of dialogue here and I'm not gonna read it sorry guys oh no he's choking he's turning blue throat jammed where's the water here drink the water but there's no water in her hand You. Looks like your color's returned. Yes, that's always good. And no perish this very thought. Disposing of spoiled food. This man was scarfing down rotten food. Gross. I guess he had a good purpose behind it. He was making sure the soldiers didn't eat the bad food. 
it's still kind of gross. You had a good intentions though. We'll let it slide. There's some responsibility for that. We should go help out with catering too. We must do and prove the situation until His Majesty returns. You're too kind. Here's a list of foodstuffs. Grimdark crabs for a potion of ferrous beast meat. Two large lacto nuts and six measures of weeping flour. Very doable. And stuff like this is where it kind of comes in handy as well. Of picking up all of that stuff. Because... Ah, see, we already have the ferrous beast meat. And we already have two weeping flour. See? That's where really random stops and stuff like that we've been doing up to this point come in. I wonder what's in store for us today. This takes me back. Ah, we got more weeping flour. Two more. Sick. Let's get some here. Nope. Oh, just kidding. Fight me, boy. The heck is that? Oops. Oh, no. Uh oh, this is good. There we go, we did it. Pretty good. All things considered. Ambush boost. What do we got here? I do need to. I got some more weeping flower. Nice. I need to equip some ox cores and things like that to kind of help boost our stats and stuff like that. We'll do that later. It's a tough one. Oh boy. Oh, this isn't good. I'm dead. Switch. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. Let me topple it. So I can get one. Ooh, I do want that nuclear blast, though. Ah, we'll take it. Whoops, didn't mean to. Ah, eh, we already won, anyways. Okay. We still need to find our food here. But I think what we'll do actually is all right. So, all right, that's going to be all for today's video. In the next video, we're going to pretty much start out by collecting all of the goodies that we need here for the soldiers to feed them. So that'll end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, especially if you found it useful. And subscribe down below if you want to follow along these videos as we continue through Torna the Golden Country and then directly into Xenoblade Chronicles 2.
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.